Rhinotech. We're uh, back in Egan with Jesse. He's been with us a full day. We're on our second day of training. He's actually going to be opening up a studio uh, to do garment, garment decorating along with some other things, hard surface type of stuff. And uh, he was happy to let us video some of his training program uh, to make sure that you get that opportunity as well. So what we're going to be working with at the moment is a laser printed paper. It is called Single Step. Um, it comes in 8.5 by 11 or in 11.17. And um, one of the things that you have to keep in mind, and I know we've talked about this with some of the other papers, yeah. is that when you're printing a, something like this, you need to print it in a mirror image. Yep. Because as soon as we rotate that, now it's going to be right reading on the shirt when it's transferred. So keep that in mind. Pretty easy to forget sometimes, I might, yeah. I might add. Absolutely. So uh, we printed this with an Oki Data laser printer. Um, it is the one that we highly recommend. Um, because what happens here is it's a weedless process. Yep. So all we're doing is we're transferring the color, the toner itself, to the surface. No window, no other areas transfer. All right. If you happen to be using this and you find that you have a little bit of a window on it, okay. but what it is is that you have too much pressure. Okay. So you want to back off on the pressure at that point. Um, but so you've got kind of a medium type of pressure. Kind of hard to judge, but once you get into it, you get the feel for what that is with the heat press that you're using. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we've printed it uh, with our Oki data, and we're going to position this on our shirt like we do in most cases. Um, after we do a quick press to get any wrinkles out and uh, get the, t the moisture out of the shirt. So we do that, you know, eight to ten seconds type of thing. That's all that's necessary. And one of the ways I like to do when I'm positioning is I do pretty much my palm area from the collar down. But that's really up to your discretion. Got it right there. And how long is this in here for? This one goes in for 25 seconds at 330 degrees. Sweet. Okay. That's Fahrenheit, of course. And again, medium pressure. Um, this particular press is called the, the RT1620, so it has a 16 by 20 inch bed adjustable in height or up and down pressure. So we can actually even print plaques with this that are an inch thick. Okay. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Nice. This is going to be a hot peel. We take this out, um, let it sit for just a few seconds, maybe up to about five, and at that point, get a hold of it, hold your shirt down and roll it back. That's how simple that is. Now, one of the things that we're going to do, however, is that I want to take a piece of foil and we're going to give it a little more bling. Uh, foil comes in a, a roll such as the one right behind you there, Jeff. Yeah. Um, and does it just come in silver? Or? It comes in silver, it comes in gold, it comes in purples, reds, greens, all kinds of colors. Very cool. Very wide range of colors. I'll just grab the silver one here. I like to give it this little, um, gives a little more texture to the part that I'm going to put on the foil. And all we're going to do is go in the DNA part and print that. So what we, get it, we do is get it in position, cover it again, and what we're going to do is press it again for 25 seconds at 330 degrees. So the, 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 the film, the foil, should stick to the toner area only. Um, so once this is done, we take it off, we let it cool to the touch, mm -hmm. and at that point we peel the rest of the foil off. Then I would come back with my parchment like we've done in other papers. Yep. Heat it again for about 20 to 25 seconds. Ooh. So this one, this is not a hot peel, so we just let, leave this one out. Yeah, we can, take, okay. we can take this off, Okay. but we're just going to leave the foil sit there. Okay. And then once that comes off to the touch, or cools to the touch I might add, then we peel that off and we'll have our shirt. Very cool. Okay. So let's let it sit here for a minute, and uh, we'll be back and show you. Sounds good. Uh, okay. We're back. We've let it cool to the touch. Um, as you recall, we printed it, took our paper out, yep. put the foil on, printed it or heat pressed it again for 25 seconds. Um, but you have to let this cool now. Then we t simply take a hold of this, peel it off, very cool, and you have your shirt. Now what I like to do is come back again with our parchment, 
and we're going to press that for uh, 20 to 25 seconds. Okay. And what is this doing right now? Well, what that's doing is because, when, as you notice, when you're peeling that paper off, I mean, you're tugging pretty hard at yep. this particular product. And so what we're, we're pulling it away from the, the fabric. So what we want to do is make sure that we've bonded it thoroughly into the fabric. Okay. So this way we just go back and heat press it again. Now we know we're going to have a durable product. Sweet. Take, sure. our, take our parchment paper off, and we have our shirt. It's that simple. Again, this is single step. Single step. <laughs> single step. Single step, which is a weedless paper, comes in 8.5 by 11, 11, 17. Easy to use. Nice thing is you can put a little bling on it. Um, that costs us a penny in foil cost, and I can charge an extra dollar for that shirt because I have it on there. Sweet. So it's something that you want to consider all the time when you're working with it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, you know where to find us. Thank you. Cool.